Tensions between Iran and Israel escalated dramatically, reaching a boiling point that has been simmering for years. The long-standing animosity between the two nations has often resulted in skirmishes and proxy battles, but this recent development marks a significant and dangerous escalation. Over 180 missiles were fired into Israeli territory, a barrage that lit up the night sky and sent shockwaves through the region. The sheer volume and intensity of the attack were unprecedented, leaving many to wonder about the potential for further escalation. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard claimed responsibility for the attack, issuing a statement that framed the missile launch as a necessary act of retaliation. They cited the recent deaths of Allied leaders as the catalyst for their aggressive response, underscoring the deep-seated grievances that fuel this conflict. The deaths of these leaders had sparked widespread mourning and anger within Iran, with many viewing the missile attack as a justified response to what they perceive as acts of aggression by Israel. The funerals were marked by large crowds and fervent speeches, further inflaming public sentiment. The missiles, launched from various locations within Iranian territory, were aimed at strategic sites within Israel, including military bases, infrastructure and other key targets. The precision and coordination of the attack demonstrated a high level of planning and intent. Despite Israel's advanced missile defense systems, which are among the most sophisticated in the world, some missiles managed to penetrate these defenses. The interceptions lit up the sky with explosions, but the damage on the ground was still significant. The attack caused significant damage to infrastructure, with buildings reduced to rubble and fires breaking out in several locations. Emergency response teams worked tirelessly to rescue the injured and provide aid to those affected. Both military personnel and civilians suffered casualties, adding to the human toll of this conflict. This unprecedented barrage marked a significant escalation in the ongoing conflict between the two nations. The scale and intensity of the attack suggested that both sides might be preparing for a prolonged and potentially more destructive phase of their confrontation. The missile attack shattered any semblance of stability in the region, leading to widespread chaos and fear. People in the affected areas scrambled to evacuate, seeking safety from the ongoing violence. The humanitarian impact of the conflict became increasingly apparent as the situation deteriorated. The world watched with bated breath, fearing a full-blown war. International leaders called for restraint and dialogue, but the path to peace seemed more elusive than ever. The global community remained on edge, aware that the actions of these two nations could have far-reaching consequences for regional and global stability. Israel wasted no time in launching its own retaliatory strikes. The Israel Defense Forces targeted locations in Lebanon, specifically those associated with Hezbollah. Israel identified these locations as staging grounds for attacks against its territory. The strikes focused on military infrastructure, weapons depots and command centers. The IDF emphasized that their actions were precise and targeted, intended to minimize civilian casualties. However, the strikes in Lebanon inevitably led to civilian deaths and injuries, further inflaming tensions in the region. The missile exchange between Iran and Israel sent shockwaves through the Middle East. Neighboring countries braced for the possibility of a broader conflict. The involvement of non-state actors like Hezbollah heightened anxieties. The potential for miscalculation and escalation loomed large. A single misstep, an unintended target, could spiral into a regional war with devastating consequences. The international community watched with growing concern, urging all parties to exercise restraint. The international community swiftly condemned Iran's missile attack on Israel. The United Nations Security Council convened an emergency meeting to address the crisis. World leaders issued statements urging de-escalation and dialogue. The European Union called for an immediate ceasefire and a return to negotiations. Russia and China, while acknowledging Israel's right to self-defense, emphasized the need for restraint from all sides. Section 5. 
The United States stands firm, reaffirming support for Israel. This support is rooted in a long-standing alliance that has spanned decades, built on shared values and mutual interests. The bond between the two nations is not just political, but also deeply cultural and strategic. The United States, a steadfast ally of Israel, offered its unwavering support. This support manifests in various forms, from military aid to diplomatic backing on the global stage. The presence of US military equipment in Israel and joint training exercises between US and Israeli soldiers underscore the depth of this alliance. President Biden condemned the Iranian attack in the strongest possible terms. He emphasized that such acts of aggression would not be tolerated and that the United States would stand by Israel in its time of need. His speech was a clear message to the international community about the US's stance on the issue. He reaffirmed the United States commitment to Israel's security and its right to defend itself. This commitment is not just in words but also in actions, as seen in the numerous security meetings and the continuous flow of military aid to Israel. The US's dedication to Israel's defense is unwavering and resolute. The United States increased military aid to Israel and deployed naval forces to the region as a show of force. This deployment serves as a deterrent to any potential aggressors and a reassurance to Israel of the US's support. The sight of US Navy ships in Middle Eastern waters is a powerful symbol of this commitment. The Biden administration also made it clear that any attempt by Iran or its proxies to further escalate the situation would be met with swift and decisive action. This warning is a testament to the US's proactive stance in maintaining stability in the region and protecting its allies. The administration's clear and firm communication leaves no room for ambiguity regarding the US's position. Section 6, the human cost of conflict, civilians bear the brunt. Lost amidst the geopolitical maneuvering and military posturing is the human cost of the conflict. On both sides of the border, innocent civilians bore the brunt of the violence. Families huddled in fear as bombs rained down. Hospitals struggled to cope with the influx of casualties. Homes were reduced to rubble. The psychological scars of war, particularly on children who witnessed such horrors, will likely linger long after the fighting ends. Section 7. A dangerous game. The risk of miscalculation and escalation. The exchange of missile strikes between Iran and Israel underscored the fragility of peace in the region. Both nations operate in a highly volatile environment, surrounded by adversaries and fueled by historical grievances. The risk of miscalculation or unintended escalation remains high. A single incident, a misunderstanding could ignite a wider conflagration. The consequences of such a conflict would be catastrophic not only for the region but for the entire world. Section 8. Beyond the headlines, domestic challenges fuel regional tensions. The recent escalation in violence cannot be viewed in isolation. It is essential to recognize the complex interplay of domestic challenges and regional dynamics that contribute to the ongoing conflict. Both Iran and Israel face internal pressures that influence their foreign policy decisions. Economic hardship, political instability, and social unrest can lead to a more aggressive posture on the international stage. Section 9. A history of enmity, understanding the roots of the conflict. The current crisis is but the latest chapter in a long and bitter history between Iran and Israel. Their rivalry is rooted in ideological differences, geopolitical competition and a legacy of mistrust. From the Iranian revolution in 1979 to the ongoing proxy conflicts in Syria and Yemen, the two nations have engaged in a shadow war for decades. This historical context is crucial for understanding the deep-seated animosity that fuels the current conflict. Section 10, the uncertain path ahead, seeking a diplomatic solution. As the dust settles on the latest round of violence, the scars of conflict are evident everywhere. The streets are littered with rubble and the air is thick with the remnants of destruction. Families are displaced and communities are torn apart. The international community faces the daunting task of finding a peaceful resolution to the conflict. The stakes are high and the path to peace is fraught with obstacles. Yet the hope for a better future drives the efforts of diplomats and leaders worldwide. 
Diplomacy, however fraught with challenges, remains the only viable path forward. The United States, European Union and other key actors must work tirelessly to bring Iran and Israel back to the negotiating table. The process is slow and often frustrating, but the alternative is unthinkable. The international diplomatic efforts are a testament to the commitment of the global community to peace. Diplomats enter negotiations with the weight of their nations on their shoulders, knowing that every word and gesture can make a difference. The peace talks are a delicate dance of compromise and understanding. Dialogue, however difficult, is essential to prevent further bloodshed and create a more stable and secure future for the region. The road ahead is long, but with perseverance and goodwill, a lasting peace can be achieved. The hope is that through continued dialogue and negotiation, the region can move towards a future where conflict is a distant memory and peace is the norm. Section 11, the world watches and waits hope for peace amidst the ruins. The world holds its breath, hoping that wisdom and restraint will prevail. The alternative, a wider war in the Middle East, is too horrific to contemplate. Amidst the ruins and the heartbreak, the yearning for peace burns brighter than ever. The international community must seize this moment to break the cycle of violence and forge a new path toward a just and lasting peace. The future of the region, and indeed the world,